Even all remarkers here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Go video. And in this video, we're going to cover update 3.49. What's in it, what's not in it, and probably more importantly in this update, what's in it that hasn't been activated yet. Stay tuned and we'll have a quick look. Welcome back. Now, most people have probably got this update already because it started rolling out at the end of last week. And I've been a little bit busy, so I've not been able to cover this. But if the best way to get it if you haven't got it, so you haven't got 3.49, turn on your headset, plug it in, leave it on charge. Also, connect it to your mobile phone. So connect it to the mobile phone app. And then once it's connected, hopefully, they, I think they kind of talk. I think that's probably the best way to get it. Because when I did that, I suddenly got the update within about 10 minutes, but your mileage will vary. So leave it plugged in, leave a few hours, and hopefully you know you'll get the update come through. What's in this update? What new features can you see? The first one being new power options. So at the moment, say for example, if you've got the headset on and you take it off, the little proximity sensor in there, that little sort of black nub that you can see in there, kind of can sense whether you've got the headset on and off. If you take it off, it turns off, you put it back on, it turns it back on sort of thing. So it's quite clever. But people find that a bit annoying. Some people don't like it. For me, for example, I was using this at an event the other day, showing some people it, and having it kind of turning on and off as I was kind of handing it to people, whatever, was, was probably a bit annoying. And sort of keeping it on, just literally pressing the power button, it was on, it stayed on until I pressed the power button again, and then it turned off, no sort of faffing. So to access the new options, you need the app on your mobile phone. So go to the Oculus Go app, Go into settings, bottom right hand corner, and connect your headset. Once you've connected your headset, click more options, and then you can go into power settings. So here we have the first option, which is auto wake up, turns headset on when it detects that you've put it on. So that's that sensor. So it knows when you put the headset on or off, it'll turn it on and off. And auto sleep. So if it doesn't detect that, and you know you haven't used it for a while, or haven't touched it sort of thing, you can adjust that setting as well, kind of set different times of how long you want until it turns off. So that's handy. So depending on your use case, you'll tweak those. A good update. The second big update was the inclusion of chromatic aberration correction. Chromatic aberration is something you get a lot with photography. So if you've got a sort of a lens, it's usually kind of when it's kind of wide angle, capturing a lot of stuff. The very edges get sort of color fringes. So the color kind of comes out between the different lenses. It can happen in sort of DSLRs because they have lots of lenses inside a bigger lens and that can kind of cause it. And the same thing goes for the Oculus Go with its Fresnel lenses that it can kind of cause a little bit of chromatic aberration around the sort of edges and sort of your peripheral view. So the update that they've included now should fix that. It's a software-based fix, so it's not something you can kind of really kind of show you sort of thing. But what it will do, it just makes everything sort of a little bit crisper, sort of things that you got in your kind of peripheral vision will be a little bit crisper, a little bit nicer. Um, and they do say it sort of takes up maybe sort of one to 3% extra sort of processing power from the Oculus Go. And it's a good improvement. It definitely kind of helps with the clarity of the headset. A few people on Reddit have said they They've kind of felt that some of the text now is a little bit milky looking. I'll be honest, I can't say I've seen that on my headset. It looks pretty crisp to me, but it depends what you kind of expect. It depends on how you got it on your head, to be fair. I tend to have it quite tight, so it kind of increases my field of view by having it so tight on my head. But it depends on how it is for you sort of thing. So for me, it seems to work fine. Mine's one of the original goes from, from launch. No complaints for me, it's definitely a good upgrade. Let's move on to what wasn't included but there's something in there that kind of suggests that it's coming very soon. So first up is USB storage. So if you didn't know, that's coming soon and you'll be able to get a drive like this. Let's try and make it focus on that. There's a little bit of USB drive, USB A one side, USB or micro USB even, the other side. Oh, can I even pull that out? There you go. And you can plug that into the side of your headset and it doesn't work yet. But listen to this, let me plug this in. Ooh. It recognizes it. It does come up with a message saying, do you want to accept uh, the connection? But when you do it, none of the programs that are in there find it, can read it, can do anything with it. If you sideload some apps like Total Commander, you can access stuff that's on USB sticks. Natively, it doesn't have the support yet. So we're imagining that they're probably slowly releasing that update, that sort of extra feature sort of to the wider network, a little bit at a time, seeing if there's any issues and sort of hoping to fix it before they roll it out to everyone. So sort of keep an eye out for it, but I imagine it's coming soon. I'm not, I don't know anybody who's got that update yet, but it's part of the same update we've got already. So hopefully it's just a case of Oculus flicking a switch. And another switch we're hoping to see as well is if you check the iOS app update notes, it does have in it saying that the streaming, so streaming from your Oculus Go to your mobile phone, your mobile device, so screen mirroring what you see in the headset on your phone, and then obviously you could stream that to your TV or whatever you want to do, 
that's detailed in those patch notes for that app but the feature's not there yet i can't find it once again i think it's one of those updates that's in there it's just waiting for oculus or someone just to flick a switch and release it to everyone so there might be a few people in the world who have it who don't even realize it because they're not looking for it um, and then there's us who are desperate for it who, who've got to wait but hopefully it looks like it's coming soon and very soon hopefully now there's probably a load of other little small tweaks in there I imagine the update kind of contains lots of sort of performance enhancements and kind of bug fixes and that sort of thing so you probably won't notice a lot of it but they're the ones I've noticed and people have read it and stuff have pointed out so it's good to see these updates are coming it's not been too long since Oculus Connect 5 where they kind of announced a lot of these things so hopefully we should get those other two apps adding things very soon because I think they're key people are desperate for those. USB storage and streaming to mobile devices, yes please, and the small power tweaks and corrections to chromatic aberration are pretty good and they do kind of enhance the overall experience and those changes have come from people, you know, if you raise them on Twitter or on Reddit or anywhere else that you can sort of thing, you know, the devs are out there, they are listening, they do want to make it better so, you know, take the time to give your feedback to, you know, the people that it matters to. Let me know in the comments down below if you've spotted any updates that I haven't and I'll maybe cover them in the next video. I'll do another video once the other two features come out, the uh, storage and the streaming so once that comes out i'll do a video on that but let me know down below you know are there other features even that you want to see is there anything else that you think is still missing that's outstanding what do you think the oculus go could do what quality of life changes could they make you know leave them down below and you know i'll pass them on if i can give this video a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't i'm big enough and ugly enough to take if you didn't like it that's fine just let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it i'll try and do better for next time become one of the remarkables and hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know when i next upload a video and that's me done i'm out have a virtual high five